You are listening to KCT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As it is Bible, October 3rd, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Daniel Shen. I'll be reading the narration that will be all the cast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Merchant Narration, God's Gilgen, Jonah chapter 3, verse 1 through 10. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city. And call against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was ex- exceedingly great city, three days' journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. The word reached the king of Nineveh, and he rose from his throne, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. And he issued a proclamation, and published through Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and let them call out mightily to God. Let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that's his in his hands. Who knows? God may turn and relent and turn from his fierce anger, so that we may not perish. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he has said he would do to them, and he did not. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As it is Bible, October 3rd, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Daniel Shen. I'll be reading the narration that will be all the cast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Merchant Narration, God's Gilgen, Jonah chapter 3, verse 1 through 10. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was ex- exceedingly great city, three days' journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least of them. The word reached the king of Nineveh, and he rose from his throne, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. And he issued a proclamation, and published through Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and let them call out mightily to God. Let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that's his in his hands. Who knows? God may turn and relent and turn from his fierce anger, so that we may not perish. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he has said he would do to them, and he did not do You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, October 3rd, 2021. This preached by Pastor David Shen. I've been reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's children's mystery message, Sin Cause Consequences, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you may you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When you are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, October third, 
2021. It was preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Youth Mystery Message, Faith and Doubt, John chapter 20, verse 24 to 29. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I, has, I see in his hands the mark of the nails, and place my finger into the mark of the nails, and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and put out your hand, and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed.